So far, we've learned how to manually add images to our catalog using folders and subfolders. In addition to these two methods, Lightroom gives us the ability to automatically import images from a user-defined watch folder. The images from the watch folder would be automatically placed to a destination folder. To demonstrate how this works, I'll set up a new folder on my desktop called watch folder. You could give this folder any name you like. I just chose watch folder because it's relevant to this tutorial. Once you've set up your folder, head back to Lightroom and click on the file menu and select auto import. From the sub menu, select auto import settings. Now over here where you see watched folder, you'll need to select the folder you want to use and Lightroom will monitor this folder and anytime any images go into this folder they'll automatically be put into another folder. The folder that they'll be put into is known as the destination folder and as you probably guessed we would want our destination folder to be the my Lightroom photos directory that is the source of all the images in our catalog. So watch folder just click the choose button and select the watch folder. The destination, we want to move any images that are inserted into the watch folder, we want to put them in the My Lightroom Photos directory. So click choose and I'll just go back to desktop and there it is My Lightroom Photos. Now it's asking if we want to place these images into a subfolder when they're transferred from the watch folder. So just leave that as default we'll have Lightroom transfer them into a new subfolder called Auto Imported Photos. You can leave all the other settings as default because we don't want Lightroom to automatically change the name of the imported images or apply any type of metadata to the image as it's imported. Uh, you can if you like, but uh, for the purpose of this lesson, it's not necessary. Before clicking OK, make sure you place a check mark in this checkbox here, Enable Auto Import and that's going to activate this whole process. Now click OK. Now we can go ahead and run a test to see if our watch folder works. So I'll minimize Lightroom again. So here's my Lightroom photos. I'll go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to open up the watch folder. Now you'll need to find two images and you can use any images on your computer. It doesn't matter. I have this image and also this image that I'd like to use. So I'm going to take these images and I'm going to transfer them into the watched folder and watch what happens when I do that. So you can see that they're actually being transferred and removed from the watch folder. A new directory has automatically been created in the My Lightroom folders directory and if I expand it you can see the two images that we initially placed in the watch folder. Now we'll head back to Lightroom and in Lightroom we can see that image 15 is the peacock image that was added and 58 is the other image that was automatically added to our catalog from the watch folder. So as you can see that's another great way to keep your catalog updated with new images.